Hi everybody. Today what we're going to do is a French tip on a little girl's natural nail. Um, the reason we are doing this is because uh, a lot of little girls take piano or violin or anything like that. They can't have long nails for. Um, so we've done it on the natural nail so, the natu so it can stay short so they can do all of that and still have the fun nails. Um, I'm just going to take you step by step. I'm just going to do a couple of nails um, so you don't have to wait for the whole thing. And first off, I take um, a coarse file, and I just filed the whole nail bed on both of these. Um, then you're going to want a primer. Um, I always use the No Lift Nails Primer. Um, you're just going to want to dab it on the nail. And I always like to do two coats. And the reason um, that I like to do two coats is so it won't um, lift the acrylic. Okay, first off, um, the monomer I use, which is the liquid um, for the nails, is from Creative Nail, and it's the radical kind. Um, first off, you're going to just dip um, the brush in the liquid, and you're going to want to kind of just dab that so the liquid comes off a little bit. Okay, then you're going to take um, the white, and you're going to want to set it on that nail. And you're going to pat and go to the right, and then pat it and go to the left. And then I always like to come up in the middle and kind of push this up, just so you're going to have a nice um, smile line on that, which means the round part on the, on the white. Okay, so you're going to want to push this down. And depending on how thick you want this white, Ashlyn wants it a little thicker, so we're going to leave it a little thicker this time. Okay, so there you go. And then I always like to lift the finger up and pat it this way to make sure there's no lumps or it's not real thick. Okay, and then um, I like to do all the white part first. Oh wait, sorry, I forgot. Ashlyn wants this one pink. <laughs> okay, so you're going to get that color on that brush. And you'll get the consistency of the brush and the liquid and the powder all together. It just takes a little bit of time. Okay, now <clears throat> also the powder that I'm using is from Creative, and I'm using a blush pink. And you don't want to get your brush brush too wet um, because then it's hard to deal with the the acrylic. Okay, so you're going to want to pat that down, and then you're just going to want to like swipe down like this. Just brush it down. And then the key to not have these lift is to make sure that this acrylic doesn't go up on her cuticle. So you're going to want to push that away from the cuticle. Okay, dab that liquid. Okay, now push this back. Remember, don't go all the way back to the cuticle. Go as far back as you can, but try not to touch that cuticle. Okay, and then swipe down and make sure you go around the sides. Get all that away from that cuticle area. Okay, so then after that, you just make sure they're all dry, which when you do 10 fingers, that it dries pretty fast. Um, then you take your file and go side to side, 
then I always like to come to the side. Might have to wait for it to dry a second. Yep. You know what? I'll do another one. I'll just start filing this one. And give that one just a second. And the key to acrylic nails is always dipping your brush in the liquid and always wiping your brush. You always want to wipe your brush. If you don't, then you're going to get it all clumped up and the acrylic um, ruins the brush. You always want to get this um, all nice and roughed up. The acrylics, um, it, that's how it adhes adheres to the nail, is if you have all these grooves in it. So you want to make sure it's nice and scuffed up. Okay, let me check this one. Yeah, that's dry now. Okay, you're going to want to go back and forth and down the sides. I always like to hold it up this way and look straight on. Like I said, then that way you can tell how thick it is. You don't want it thick, so you can file that down as low as you need to. Okay, then after you do that, um, you're going to want to take a buffer. And what the buffer does, um, I always like Sand Shark buffers. They are super good. Um, you can buy Materialist um, or any beauty supply, really. Okay, just go back and forth. And what this buffer does is it takes all the lines out from the file. So it makes it nice and smooth. Okay, and then from Creative now, <clears throat> I like to use their oil. And what you do is you just come back and you just set it on the cuticle. Okay, then you're going to just rub that in. Okay, then you're going to want to wipe that <clears throat> with a paper towel. <clears throat> okay, <clears throat> excuse me. Last part is the top coat. Just go middle to the right side and then to the left. Okay, and then there you have your acrylic nails.